people of the internet, my name is Johnny, welcome back to yet another very exciting FNAF news video. In today's video, we finally have our first look at Funko's upcoming Ruin wave of products, which are going to include action figures, pop figures, as well as plushies. We've also gotten our first glimpse at a brand new Funko statue, as well as what to expect from their next Mystery Minis wave. So all of that exciting Funko news and more we're going to be talking about in today's FNAF news video, so if you're excited, I did scroll down tickle that subscribe button listen all right, real talk. I don't know how many times I have to say this. We're getting very close to 100,000 subscribers, guys. And I'm just saying, it'd be pretty cool to hit it before FNAF's anniversary in August. So if you're not subscribed, just, just scroll down and, and make sure you are, okay? But before we talk about some Funko news, I have a few other interesting merchandise news that kind of tie into the Funko discussion. Because you may have seen that recently, Jazzwares has acquired a master license to FNAF merchandise. You might recognize Jazzwares from their works with the Halo franchise as well as Fortnite. So when the news came out that Jazzwares acquired this master license for FNAF, there were a lot of mixed opinions and we're gonna get into those in a quick second. But very quickly, let's just go through the article that they released to figure out what exactly is going on with this news. Scott Games names Jazzware Master Toy and Plush Licensee for Five Nights at Freddy's. The collection will launch next year. Jazzware's FNAF collection will include action figures, play sets, plush, pet toys, collectibles, and more. With the executive vice president of Jazzware saying FNAF has taken the game in world by storm. And as a master toy licensee, Jazzware's has the tremendous opportunity to further connect with fans of the games and immerse them in a series like never before. With Russell Binder, the CEO of Striker Entertainment, the licensing holder of the FNAF brand, saying FNAF, which turns 10 in August, has grown into a top media franchise and a billion dollar retail brand. The stakeholders have bent over backward to listen to and hear what the fans of the franchise are asking for, and we believe that Jazzwares, as fans themselves, will aim high and keep the new and exciting fans engaged with high-quality plush, figures, and innovation across categories. The collection is expected to hit shelves next year. So that's the article. Now, what exactly is a master toy license, and what does this have to do with Funko? Well, a master license is usually pretty different from a traditional license. Since Jazzwares has the master toy license for toys and plushies, that means that they get first dibs, and in some cases are the only company that can make figures, or plushies of the FNAF brand. Now, obviously, hearing that news, a lot of people suspected that Funko had officially, finally lost the FNAF license. Well, we actually had Scarlet Joker, who is a very reliable Funko leaker, and the source of all of the Funko news we're just about to talk about. So, I'm gonna leave their page linked down below. Please go show them some support, but they made a post about this news, saying, despite what some people may think, no, Funko is not done making FNAF stuff. Teasing, I can't share what I've heard, but they have a lot more coming, including more more stuff for the movie beyond the pops coming later this year. Though continuing on to say, I suspect that the action figures are probably done, honestly, and maybe even the plushies. They're definitely on a tighter leash now due to not being the master licensor, and it'll really be up to their negotiations to see what they secure. So while right now it's unclear whether or not Funko is going to be able to continue making plushies and action figures for FNAF, overall they've not lost their license. But before moving on to the actual Funko news, I do want Want to bring awareness to the situation going on with Jazzwares. Puppet Geist and the other Freddit mods did a fantastic job creating a thread on the FNAF subreddit detailing everything you need to know. The basic summary is various traces of the CEO supporting various causes for Israel in their fight against Palestine. It's a very detailed post. I'm obviously going to leave it linked down below, so please go check it out. This is something I obviously wanted to bring attention to, so if you were interested in picking up any future Jazzware FNAF products, please just know where your money's going to. With how big deals like this are, and since we haven't heard anything from either parties involved, I feel like nothing's gonna change. So again, the best thing we can do is just educate ourselves and understand where exactly that money is going towards. But moving on now to a lighter note, let's talk about the brand new Funko leaks. Let's start off with the 10th anniversary line. Last we heard, that wave is set to include a withered Golden Freddy Funko Pop, an exclusive pop figure of the puppet featuring a brand new mold of them floating, a 
brand new line of mystery minis as well as a Golden Freddy statue. Previously reported was also a statue of Freddy and Bonnie, however it seems like that was never actually happening. So the only statue we're getting for this 10th anniversary line is of Golden Freddy, which we actually got revealed to us. Once again, thanks to Scarlet Joker, this is our very first look at the upcoming Golden Freddy statue. It's him slouched down in front of the FNAF 1 office desk, and honestly, I'm kind of mixed on this statue. It seems like all they did for this statue was increase the size of Golden Freddy's action figure mold because he still features those just painted over black eyes, those upper teeth, as well as that weird texture the figures have. So in my opinion, even though this is the worst of the Funko statues, I don't necessarily think it's all that bad. The statues are still some of my favorite products out of Funko, so I'm always happy to have some brand new ones, but I definitely feel like they could have done much, much better with this Golden Freddy statue. But Moving on now to the brand new Mystery Minis line releasing for the 10th anniversary. This is what it looks like. And as you can see, we've got the return of some classic characters, brand new mini molds for Freddy Fazbear, Bonnie, Chica, and Foxy. We finally have some mystery minis for Withered Freddy, Withered Chica, Withered Foxy, as well as a brand new mini for Withered Bonnie. Previously, he was the only Withered to have a mystery mini, so it's amazing that they're finally completing that set. And lastly, we've got Golden Freddy, the puppet, the cupcake, as well as an endoskeleton. I think at this point, we're all very familiar with the chibi-like design that the FNAF minis have, but... This is a brand new design, and honestly, it looks incredible. I much, much prefer this over the old designs. The molds are fantastic as well. Even, you know, some traditional characters like Freddy and Foxy. Now Freddy's got his arm up, Foxy's holding his out of order sign. The puppet's jumping out of the box. You know, Golden Freddy is slouched down. Foxy, Withered Foxy is getting ready to jump scare you. All these minis look fantastic. When the initial lineup got revealed that it was just FNAF 1 characters and some FNAF 2 characters, I'm like, okay, at least they're completing the Withered line, but are we really just reusing characters? But, you know, Funko, do whatever you want because these new minis look fantastic. The new molds and designs look incredible. And you can even see on the display box that 10 year anniversary logo for FNAF that we saw on the Scott Games Twitter profile. So hopefully that means we'll get some announcement from that Twitter page soon because it was released like last month and we haven't heard anything since then. But I'd love to know what are your thoughts on the brand new 10th anniversary wave so far with that Golden Freddy statue, these brand new mystery minis. But there are still more reveals to come for this wave. Don't forget that withered golden freddy pop figure as well as that brand new puppet pop figure so hopefully we can get some news on those guys soon but moving on now to the ruin lineup this is who this is probably some of funko's best work yet starting off with the action figures this is our very first look at the ruined roxanne ruined chica and ruined eclipse figures and like i said this is probably some of the most detailed accurate interpretations of action figures we've ever seen from Funko. They really decided to lock in. All of these figures look really spot on. You can see Chica's very detailed endoskeleton head, all of the melted cheese and cracks in her suit, as well as she's straight up just missing an arm, which is something I don't think we've seen a missing limb from a FNAF Funko figure. Roxanne looks insane. Her head's a little big, but that could also just be her mask, which is also extremely detailed. I'm intrigued to see what her hair looks like because the hair on the previous this Roxanne Funko figure was very, very bad. But again, all the cracks in the suit, the detail on the endoskeleton, even her claw hands, it's all there. And Eclipse, what else can I say about Eclipse besides it looks like he was just pulled right out of the game. Like I said, these are probably some of the most accurate and detailed figures we've ever seen from Funko, and it just keeps getting better. Because these are the brand new ruined pop figures of, once again, Eclipse, Chica, and Roxanne. You might start to notice a pattern, unfortunately, Unfortunately, the only characters in this ruined wave are Eclipse, Chica, and Roxy. For how expansive and unique the cast of Ruin is with the Mimic and Mexus and even Cassie, I'm not entirely sure why Funko decided to only do these three characters because I feel like this is the smallest wave we've ever gotten from Funko. And it's so weird when the wave looks as good as it does, once again going back to these pop figures. These are easily, by far, the most detailed pop figures we've ever seen from Funko. And as an Avid FNAF Funko Pop Collector, these just have me so, so excited. Even comparing the Eclipse to the recent Sun and Moon figure, the difference is 
unironically, night and day. I really, really hope all of these items sell well so Funko makes more of the Ruined cast and just more FNAF products overall. I don't know how many times I have to say it, but the details on these pop figures is freaking phenomenal. Now, of course, these are glam shots. They're released for promotional material, so the actual figures might not look as accurate and as detailed, but I don't know. I feel like Funko usually has a pretty good track rate from glam shots to physical product. And I probably shouldn't have saved the plushies for last because they are easily the worst aspect about this Ruined wave. Because for some reason, they just decided to do Ruined Eclipse. But instead of making it one figure, they did Ruined Sun and Ruined Moon, even though they look practically identical. So these plushies, while they are detailed, eh, I just don't really care about them. We've had so many Sun and Moon plushies in the past that I feel like just look better visually. And because they're for some reason releasing two instead of just one and doing plushies of even just Chica and Roxy, I'll take that. It's pretty disappointing. So while the plushies are easily the worst aspect of this Ruin Wave, everything else is like absolute peak. We should get the official announcement from Funko tomorrow announcing these guys as well as pre-orders being available tomorrow as well. So I know for a fact I'm going to be right there when pre-orders do go up as well as that Golden Freddy pre-order that also happens tomorrow. Honestly, Funko's cooking up some heat this year. I'm very intrigued to see what else they've got planned, but that is going to do it for today's FNAF News video. I'd of course love to know what are your thoughts on all the brand new Funko reveals in the comments down below. Thank you all so much for watching this video and I'll see you all on the flip side. Goodbye.